despite the High Court lifting the injunction of the NDC candidate for the MFI Central constituency, Joanna John Kujo. The Electoral Commission says it is yet to receive the court judgment before including here on the ballot paper. Now, here's what we do know. We've been keeping an eye on Memphis Central quite closely over the period here on Ghana tonight. We saw a notice of poll that was without Joanna Jan Kujo. Now, we're receiving some information that th that may have changed. We're yet to confirm that. So stay with us. In a few minutes, we're getting to this matter. But the Electoral Commission is saying until it is served or they have received the official court judgment which vacated the injunction on the NDC parliamentary candidate for the MFA Central constituency, Joanna Jankujo, so as to take steps to add her on the ballot paper. They're not going to do that. They are waiting for that particular service before they take the decision and then what to do to add her. Dr. Bosman Asari is Deputy Chair of the Electoral Commission in charge of corporate services. He spoke exclusively to us here at TV3 and making that point on the MFA Central constituency. Take a look. What's the status of that? No, I think the commission made it very clear that we are a law-abiding institution. Whatever the courts will say, we are going to abide by that. And as you rightly pointed out, the candidate was disqualified on the basis of the injunction. So the commission made it very clear, once this injunction is removed, the commission has no choice. And as we speak now, we are waiting for a copy of the ruling. Once we receive that particular copy, then the commission, then the, the, that means the permission has been granted. So we, we are a, a completely law-abiding organization, whatever the courts. So once we receive a copy of the ruling, we will go by that. Currently, we've just heard in the news, in the media, nothing concrete has come to us. Once it comes to us, why not? We'll make sure we will do the needful. So I can take it that I'm a few central parliamentary has something. That's what I'm saying. We once we receive once we receive the document from the court, we'll do the needful. We are law abiding. On the basis of the law, the judgment of the court, we use that to disqualify the candidate. So if the same court in their wisdom they are saying that that injunction is no longer in force, it has been removed, then the commission must do the needful. How will it will it be in the day? Because you're mentioning that it's not been the processes of the court has not been served on you. Is there a time frame to which if that is not done, it possibly could go against the party? So far I can't I can't stick to a particular time frame because we still have almost about 28, 27 days, 24 days to the election. So uh, from the commission standpoint, I think we have enough quality time to be able to get this thing done. That means uh, the special voting is even less than 20 days away. Mm. Uh, let's move to the... Well, that's Dr. Bosman Asari there, and a specific question that was put to him by Maona Gwata, my colleague, about the Memphis Central constituency and the happenings related to the NDC candidate there. He says that they are yet to be saved. They are yet to receive any information that has been concluded on by the courts. This is an exclusive interview that we got this evening with the Electoral Commission Deputy Chair. That's Dr. Bosman Asari there, but this is your election command center. But really, what is the issue here and with Joanna Jan Kujo and, and how has this particular issue traveled over the period till now? Take a look at this and follow me closely. On the 13th of May, 2023, the, there was a first primary. That primary, Joanna Jankujo won that primary that was uh, conducted by the letter, that's the NDC, in the Memphis Central constituency. But then there were questions raised about her eligibility and matters arising related to some issues about uh, the, the identification cards and so on. But when this matter was taken to court, Eventually, the Function Decision Committee of the party annulled the primaries that was the contentious issue that was or took place on the 13th of May. They ordered a rerun. Three days later, nominations were opened. On the 7th, in fact, of September 2024, there was a vetting. And it was on that day that Peter Yaokwachiaka decided to withdraw from the race. And let me just put it on record. This is the man who is part of the four MP MPs who are in the eye of the storm with what is happening in Parliament right now. Peter Yaokwachiaka is the incumbent 
a Memphis Central constituency member of parliament on the ticket of the NDC, has decided to contest this 2024 election as an independent candidate because of the fallouts from this matter of the primaries, which he lost to Joanna Janko during the first instance and then the next one. from the race. And these were the five applicants who, on the 13th of May, after that primary, that opposed 756 of the votes against Peter Yawachaka, 575. The others you see there, these five persons, Jedu Frimpong, Akubila Daniel, Enoch Ntiamua, Isaac Chum, and Doris Edu, the Sud Jana Jankujo, and the NDC, uh, and together with the Electoral Commission, following some allegations that Joanna Jankujo forged her vote ID card and so on. That matter has been dealt with by the courts right now. But the Electoral Commission is saying they are yet to receive any communication about this particular decision by the courts to, as it were, set aside that injunction on Joanna Jankujo. She's not eligible to contest. So why has the NDC not alerted the Electoral Commission on this? Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer, is the Deputy Director of ITN Elections for the NDC. I thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Per Dr. Bosman Asari, you just heard him. He says that even though the court has ruled, Joanna Jankojo is eligible to contest, but you have not notified the Electoral Commission of this decision by the court. Why is that? Uh, Alfred, let me say good evening to your cherished viewers. Uh, uh, in fact, I'm surprised uh, Dr. Bosman is saying this because I presented this to Dr. Bosman Asari 4.32 this afternoon. The, 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 the ruling of the High Court, the Secretary High Court ruling has been served to the Electoral Commission through Dr. Bosman Asari, uh, Mr. Titi, and then as well as Benjamin Banubio, the director of electoral service. In fact, I gave them each of them copies. He received it, acknowledged receipt of what I've shared. In fact, I shared it with him, soft copy. Thanks for sharing, doctor. That was 15, uh, 1742. So 1742, that was 542. That's the time he acknowledged it and thanked me for sharing with him. So I'm surprised I said they have not seen this. Well, I that, have records that, of it. That's, that's what he's so saying. I sent it. And I'm saying that I have record. I've just read it, my, my chat with Tim. Right. I shared it with Tim at, at 16.32 this afternoon. He received it at 17.42 and thanked me for sharing with him. And so they cannot faint ignorance of having received anything. They have received it. We have given them. And I, well... My, my printers, uh, listen, my printing agent, they have just informed me this evening that they have given orders for them to print a new ballot paper that will contain Joanna John Kudu. It means a decision has been taken on it as we speak now. I see, because we, 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 yeah. we, we saw a notice of poll, and that's going to be on the screen right now. This notice of poll that was earlier published in, and pasted around the constituency had just Albert Redu Akon of the MPP. Peter Yalkwachiaka, the independent candidate, the incumbent, and then also Karl Mark Ahin. These were the three that were published in the first notice of poll. And, and we understand these were the three that were on the ballot papers that were first printed by the Electoral Commission. Now, so you're saying that there's, you, you've received officially updated information that there is indeed a directive that Joanna Jankojo should be added to what we are seeing on the screen right now. Yes, I'm giving you the current notice of poll, and I've just sent it to your producer right. uh, so that you can display it there. The current one, uh, which uh, I've just received, and then uh, that has uh, Joanna John Kujo on it, and that, that is what they are going to print. Your, your, your report, uh, this in your, your producer, okay. Dennis, uh, can project it for you. Yes, Dennis, Dennis, it has right it. Dennis has it. Yes, you're yes. right about this. Yes, yes. this is it. So yes. that, that, yes. That's, this is the new one that has... Albert Reko Alcon, uh, Joanna Jan Kojo comes second. Beautiful. She's second on the on the, on the new notice of poll. This ballot, right? Yeah. And then Al Kwachiaka third, and then Karl Makahin, also an independent candidate in the fourth. So, so this is the current one. 
This is the current one. This is the current one. And that's what they are going to print right now as we speak. So this is the current one. They've taken, they've acknowledged it and they've, they've done the needful. So we're just waiting for the ballot. So they, are, they are going to trade the old ones. So are they going to appear like this on the ballot paper or the notice of poll is different from what is going to happen or what's going to appear on the ballot paper as it's going to be printed now? This is how they will appear on the ballot paper. This is how they are going to appear. And so the printing of the new ballot papers will commence any moment from now. I've just gotten notification from my, my printing agents over there and my supervisor at the, the printing house that where they are going to print the ballot papers for Amenfri Central. And I can assure you this is the current one. And uh, Joanna will be, at, will, will be on the ballot as number two. I see. So again, the understanding, the ballot papers that have been printed already for Amenfri Central is going to be discarded. Right, if that yes, what you're saying is anything them. to go by, because the electoral commission has issued a statement this evening, which we'll put on the screen shortly, that they have finished printing and they'll start dispatching the ballot papers to the various constituencies beginning tomorrow. And the Western region is scheduled for 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 Friday. Yes, they, 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 they were shredded. They are shredding it this evening. They are sharing all the the, the old ones they, they've printed, and they are going to print new one. It is just a one constituency. Uh, it shouldn't take them. By, by, by the close of tomorrow morning, they would have finished printing that one. I mean, it, it doesn't take them much time to print uh, one constituency parliamentary ballot. I mean, that one is a simple one. So by the close of tomorrow, they will have a full complement of our Memphis and try new ballot papers. So they are good to go. I see. So uh, it, all matters put to rest now for the your your people watching in the Memphis Central constituency. Joanna Jankujo is going to be on the ballot paper. You've settled that with the Electoral Commission. They're going to print new new ballot papers with hair on it and number two on that position. Certainly, certainly. That is what is going to happen. That is oh. what is going to happen. And she's going to win. She's going to win massively, I'm telling you. She's, well, she's the love of the So, so Peter Kwachaka is not a threat. Him. Peter Kwachaka is not a threat to you. This is an incumbent. He's won Indeed. the constituency twice. He has contested as an MPP candidate before in 2004, as an independent in 2008. He has been a DCE for the area. He, he knows the area quite well. You're not scared by that? And he lost the parliamentary primary miserable. He lost it. That tells you that the people are fed up with him in that area. They are not more interested in him. They now have the, the new kids at the, on the block, and that is Joanna Jant Kujo. Everybody loves her at that place. She's doing marvelously well there. I'm telling you, if tomorrow they even allow us to vote tomorrow, she will get not less than 90% of the food cast in yeah. the constituency. I've been I've been to the constituency and I can tell you what she's doing there. She's a show lady and the okay. people love her. Right. We'll see and, and also leave that in the next 24 days. We'll see how things will play out in that Memphis Central constituency. That's a constituency to watch. Dr. Rashid Tanko, computer, thank you. So much for joining us here I'm grateful. Uh, on Ghana tonight. And this is your election command center. We have 24 days and the countdown is on.